Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to recover deleted files on your computer. So this isn't guaranteed to recover all your files, pictures, documents, that kind of thing. But in my experience, it has been pretty successful and I have made tutorials in the past for other versions of Windows and this tool seems to be pretty successful. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to use Microsoft Edge for today's tutorial and we're going to navigate over to Google. You want to search for Recuva, R-E-C-U-V-A. Go ahead and run that. Go ahead and hit enter. One of the best matches should be from a site that says ccleaner.com. Go ahead and open this up. So this is made by Piriform, which is owned by Avast. So anyway, I get so many comments on the other videos about this. There is a free version and there's a paid version. People click the wrong version. They may activate a free trial. They may be looking for files that are not available to be recovered in the free version for whatever reason. Maybe their needs exceed the free version capability. What I am showing in this tutorial is completely free and offered by Recuva. So please do not comment down in the description. I, I, I hate comments like that. And I'm, I know I'm probably going to get comments like that because I'm just saying it. But definitely, you know, make sure you're downloading the free version here. Don't say, oh, it's not free. He said it's free. You have to pay for it. Look at the screen. It says download free version. I'm going to select the download free version button. And, I mean, most of you guys are fine. I mean, it's probably like 1% of 1% of total views actually comment something like that. So, I don't know. They, they just, they speak very loudly. But anyway, select the free version. You can see the differences here. Advanced file recovery is included in the free version. Professional version, you get virtual hard drive support, automatic updates, premium support. In my opinion, you don't need any of that stuff. But we're going to go ahead and select the download. Again, I, I've never had a problem with needing the professional version of this software, so I just want to put that out there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run the setup file once it's done downloading. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. I accidentally got two prompts, so that's why I closed out of one of them. And it says Recuva setup. Go ahead and select the customize button. It'll show you what it's going to be doing here for shortcuts. I'm going to actually uncheck the desktop and start menu shortcut as well as the add scan for deleted files option on the file explorer and recycling bin. Actually, I will keep a desktop shortcut just for the purpose of this video so it's easily accessible and visible for everybody. And then I'm going to select install. And then go ahead and uncheck the view release notes and select run Recuva. It's going to say, welcome to the Recuva wizard. The wizard will help you recover your deleted files. Just answer a few simple questions and Recuva does the rest. If you don't want to use this wizard, simply press cancel and you will have access to the advanced features of Recuva. Now, I'm a little mixed on this. I don't think it'll hurt to go along with the on-screen prompts. So that's what we're going to start with here. So start with next. So file type, what type of file are you trying to recover? So at this point, if it's an image, a document, go ahead and make your selection here. I'm going to select all files. It's probably going to take a little longer to scan, but if you're unsure, maybe there's a lot of different files, maybe you deleted a whole folder by mistake, you probably want to select all files then. It will take longer to scan though, I just want to put that out there, and you'll select next. It's going to say where were the files, so if you deleted them from the recycling bin, you'd select that option. If they were in your documents folder, you go ahead and select that or you're not sure, go ahead and select that one too. You could even scan a DVD as well. So pretty straightforward, go ahead and select next here guys. And you can check mark the box to enable deep scan. I generally would not recommend that unless you've already exhausted the first scan option and now you have to go back through it again. And then you can select the deep scan, but we're just gonna go ahead and select start. Okay, it failed to scan some hard drive here, but you can see it did find a whole bunch of other items in here as well. 
and you can see a whole listing of them. Now, I'm going to be real with everybody. It's not always the most beautiful um, display in terms of how it lays everything out here. You should be able to scroll through it pretty quick here. The file name should definitely help indicate if it's an actual file or not. And you can search by file pass. You can change the drop down here. So I don't have any particular file I'm trying to recover. So that's why it's kind of all over the place here. But you can see there's different images here, perhaps. So the sooner you get to it, the better. So the sooner you run this recovery tool before, you know, after you delete the file, you probably want to get in here and run this. You can also scroll over and see when the file was last modified, as well as the status of the file. So if it's unrecoverable, then it's going to be red. And that means you don't even bother recovering it. Yellow means it's partially recoverable. So you can see that the if you scroll over the exact wording that they use here is state poor and that the file has been overridden with and it's been partially overridden. It may be able to recover something, but you know, it might not be worth it in your case. The green is your best bet here. If it's green, it should hopefully be recoverable. So that should probably be your best bet. And you just would go ahead and check mark next to whatever item you want to recover. And then you'd select the recover button. And then you'd select the output for the recovery. So let's just say our desktop here and select OK. Do you want to restore it to the same drive? And that this can reduce the chance of a successful recovery. So, you know, yes or no. If you have more than one drive, you can select no. However, most of you guys probably only have one computer drive, so the C drive. So in that case, you kind of have to do yes. But again, you know, it depends on what you want to do. So you can see it did work here successfully. And if you're talking about pop-ups here, about upgrading to the professional version, you can see it's the same stuff. File, advanced file recovery, automatic updates, premium support, virtual hard drive support. You didn't need the professional version to recover this file. And it's not really a Word document, some random file on our computer, but you can see it has been recovered to our desktop. Who knows what's going to happen if I open it up, but it's going to be something. So anyway... Um, so that was a quick example on how to open up a specific file here. And the file name should definitely help you if you want to sort by file name too. So if you know what the file name is called, that should definitely help you here. There's going to be a lot of junk in here, especially if you search all files. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and actually switch to advanced mode for a moment here. And you'll be able to scan other drives as well. So not only your local drive, but if you have other drives too. Like I said, it gets a little iffy with the professional version if you have virtual drives. But generally speaking, you'll have a little bit more information on the right side here. You have a panel view where you can view information about the file, last modification date, when it was created, as well as the status. So a little bit more technical. You can actually see the binary code in here. So, I mean, that's, I mean, how, what more do you really want? And just so you know, if you want to scan more specific drives in here too, or folders, you can click the little drop down where it says scan, and you can select scan files. And you can go ahead and run another scan based on your drive here. See so if you close out of there. And you can select the options too, and you can select different actions as well. So, I mean, pretty much you shouldn't have to make any adjustments here. If we go back into Recuva, so we close out of it, and then let's say we didn't find our file that we were looking for, like I said, attempt to run the deep clean scan. So let's make a more targeted approach here. So let's say we we're looking for, let's just say um, music, and then select next. We're going to select, I'm not sure, next again. We're going to select enable deep scan this time. That's why I went back in here, and then select start.
Okay, so you can see it failed to scale that one particular disk. Hopefully you're not having that issue in your case here. There were no documents or music or anything that actually was available to scan for. I just was giving you an example of what a deep scan would be, and you can definitely see it took a little bit longer to scan that time. But pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I think, I think this is a pretty nice utility, and it's definitely worth a shot to recover your data, and you don't have to pay a professional to come out and try and recover your data, which they may or may not be able to do. They're running tools that are similar to this that may be a little bit more involved, but just as a general consumer tool, I mean, I've been very satisfied with it using it in the past, and I have no problem using it or recommending it. It won't harm your computer at all. In the worst case scenario, it just won't find anything. So we really have nothing to lose, and that's about it. So pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.